Hey doll friends, this is Ambie with Little Plastic Friends, and I'm here to show you my newest Blythe doll. Um, she comes with a little bit of a story, but this is You Are For Me, um, the newest release, and she's got kind of a, I don't know, kind of an 80s, 90s vibe. She definitely has the kind of neutral lip, and see the writing, You Are For Me, it just reminds me of Prince. Um, and I assume it's supposed to. So, I am actually going to get her out of the box, off camera, and then we'll have a look at everything that she comes with and check her out. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start here and then I will free her from all the packaging and we'll look at everything out of the packaging. But I did want you to see she has very white hair does seem to have a little bit of yellow undertones. She comes with a red hair bow. She comes with two outfits. This one is a skirt with a shirt. She has this little like cell phone purse. She has some of my favorite shoes. Um, some little socks and a mauve, straight up mauve, oh my gosh, uh, stand and the post on it is gold. You can kind of see that. So let me free her and let's see what we've got. Oh, and I do want to point out, she does have little earrings. Let's see if you can see, see those right there. It's kind of hard to see. There we go, that one, maybe you can see that one a little better. So, okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided that I would do it off camera this time rather than struggle with it on camera and have to fast forward and chop it all up. It's just a lot when I do it on camera. <laughs> so, okay. As I'm going through these though, well, let me show you the pieces and then I'll tell you the story. So the first piece is this really pretty black. It's got a sweetheart neckline. I don't know if you can see that. And then Velcro in the back. It's got this nice little ruffle detail at the bottom, nice sheer fabric here. And I will say, as much as I love black clothes and as much as I wear black clothes, black clothes on my dolls always scares me, especially these guys, because I do have, um, I have a doll that I loved the outfit and I didn't know. And someone said, oh yeah, that outfit stains. So her arms are all stained up. So I ended up putting tattoos on her arms. Um, I'll show her to you at some point. She turned out really cute, but not really the plan, but that's okay. So that's the shirt. This is the skirt. And it's like a um, really, really soft, brushed, I'm going to say it, mauve. It's kind of a mauve color. It's almost a little more peachy than mauve. This is what I think of when I think of mauve, but man, they're close. Um, it's really super soft, Velcro in the back, nice little bow detail, but it is a brush denim. Beautiful. So that goes together for your, you know, definitive 1980s little style. And the handbag, which is really funny thing, it's more of a phone bag, which is modern. It's got a little heart charm. It's got kind of the the fakey Chanel leather through the through the chain. Even if it's just a ribbon. It's really cute though. It is um, stitch shut. Sweet little pair of simple socks. They do appear to have some little um, gathers built into them. So when you put them on, they'll scrunch down because you have to scrunch your socks. These are the shoes that I love. I think they're so cute. I love this chunky little heel. Um, if anybody knows who Fluvog is, they're very Fluvog to me. So, okay. This, which I thought was a headband, is apparently just a ribbon you can put in her hair. So, maybe you could put it on like a headband. I don't know. It's more like a like an elastic ribbon, 
And then here's her stand. And then here's her. And so this set of eyes is a nice gray. She does have the uh, tan eyelids and she does have the brown, really pretty eyelashes. Really pretty blue eyes, striking. I always love green. And the pink, kind of an intense pink. Um, and the gray. I think I might need more blue for a little bit. Um, I have heard her hair is in really good shape, but her dress that she comes with is this little tiered dress. Little peachy pink panties. The dress is lined. So let me get her out of this. And then once I get her dressed, um, I think I'll leave her in this outfit for right now. Eh, maybe I'll put her in the other one and we'll show off what that looks like. But, okay, I'll be right back. Let me change her. I keep talking about this damn story. I'll get to it, I promise. Okay, so here is You Are For Me in her second outfit and actually the outfit that I prefer. I think she looks beautiful in all of this. Turned out really, really cute. Everything fits great. I love this shirt. It's Really, it looks so good on her. And then, of course, the little shoes and the scrunchy socks. And I did a simple bow with that. Um, I did want to say some people have been getting very poker straight hair. Hers is not poker straight, the way it was put up in the holders. Um, and it could stand a wash. I don't know if I'm going to wash it soon or kind of live with it for a while. Maybe try to give it a good brush and see how it does. Um but I'm really happy with her. She's she is really, really cute. And I think at some point I'm going to do a comparison video with her and some of the other recent uh, releases that all seem to have some similarities. I thought that might be kind of interesting. So anyway, okay. So here's the story, finally, right? Um, so I got the shipping notice that she was leaving Japan and then I'd never seen it before. It said something about putting her on a, in a crate or uh, something. Some weird, there was something weird about the wording. And I was like, oh, well, I don't know. That's very strange. So anyway, then I hear nothing and there's no updates. And that's it. She's gone. She makes, <laughs> she makes no progress. We hear nothing. I start to worry and I think, oh my God, is this the one where I have to go? And, you know, try to get a new doll or try to work it out, whatever. I was just dreading it. Um, so then, next thing I know, um, after I start really panicking, I finally get a notice. She's made it to Chicago. Then again, nothing. Days and days and days and days. How long does it take to get through customs? I don't even know, but it apparently took her quite a while. Um... So then I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's in the next, you know, big city over. We're in a small city, uh, town, mm. and uh, usually it goes there, then it comes here, and then it comes out, you know, it gives it, no, went, to, went from that city, it just, bam, right over. So I was like, completely prepared to be here for her, had I known, but I didn't know. And they left me a little like, hey, sorry, you got to come get her or we're shipping her back to from whence she came, which was Japan. And I thought, oh, my God, they're going to they're going to deport her out to Japan and I have to go down and get her. So it was just it was it was comical, but it was really it was stressful for a few days. But ended up they gave me like four days to get down there to get her. So I was like, well, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm coming to get my doll. Um, but yeah, so now I have her. I'm very happy. She's definitely worth the wait. Maybe not worth the stress, but worth the wait. But she's really cute. And um, yeah, so this is You Are For Me. And she is the latest release. The next one is, she's basically like a white rabbit theme, but they call her something else. Um, 
And then the one after that is a Juliet, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet theme. And that one I am, I was pretty excited about the rabbit. Um, I actually, I think I ordered the rabbit first and then went back and ended up ordering her. But the Juliet, I mean, I just, I saw the drawings and I was like, I will go ahead and pre-order that. So, um, so yeah, so we got some more, so we got some more coming. Ooh, they just keep coming. So, all right, well, that's all I've got. I hope you enjoy. And, uh, she is a really cute doll. She's super 80s and 90s. And I don't know, it's, it's a cute theme. All right, that's all I've got. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.